welcome to the chat room podcast today we are talking about the economic hardship in ghana Charlie, ghana ghana make hard work so Charlie, we say we could talk about them small so we want to know actually um, what is the cause but we know there is a general global picture but what is the cause what can we point it down to especially for the situation in ghana is it bad governance is it the people is it institutional failure is it a mix of all the three Danny, what, what do you think um, i think from the various news i mean news outlets what they are reporting and even some of the international media outlets what they are trying to put out process yes indeed there's a global you know financial crisis being faced by all i mean, the top the, the top countries like us germany france just to name a few you don't mention Russia. Uh, <laughs> Russia. <laughs> <You have to laughs> <be. laughs> but then the actual problem with Ghana's own is about debt. Like uh, most developing countries, I don't know if you heard about the issue that happened in uh, Sri Lanka. No, oh, what was it about? Oh, yeah, yeah, like nothing actually work. Like the whole economy, the values. I mean, their currency is depreciating. depreciating um, a com yes food insecurity a common street so i learned they took they took upon themselves to do demonstration with many ministers they were cars trying to learn media president has resigned or something so, yeah. so it's because of poor economic management poor because in uh, sri lanka yes and that's what is reflecting in the that's what and the, and the mps and whatever people they are then they, they enjoy life but the average citizen is stressed about and that's the same case across the most developing country because the reports from I read a report from World uh, World Bank and the main causes is, is is the depth in which these uh, developing countries, including Ghana as well, are facing is that like a huge. This is so, so why? But we've always been going right. Yes. Before, but why now? Why is it? A combination of the COVID factor, uh, uh, yeah, it, and it, so it's making it really huge. huge. And then donors to are are tightening their hands yeah, because, because when I heard that Ghana's credit score is very low. low obviously, uh-huh. and the issue is there's a report from um, Bank of Ghana, BOG, and they are trying to they made it. This this report came and they were saying that the ratio of Ghana debt to GDP is estimated at seventy eight percent. A car would do any <laughs> how much you produce. So the the amount we they owe our donors is seventy eight percent of our GDP. Yes. So if in in, in the simplest thing, your what the output as a, as a nation, mm-hmm. right, or your value as a nation, about seventy eight percent of it is it's for debt. Debt is to cater for debt. Yes. God, obviously, you have to pay off this debt. And when you really continue to read the report, he said that the public debt score shoot up by 40 billion, 40.1 billion by the end of March 2020. And so that that's a total of 391 billion. You get total. You get me? So it be it be it be it be close call to say that oh uh, it be covered alone. No. Yeah, yeah. The actual fact we see. The, the average Ghanaian is suffering because of poor economic business and bad you, governance. Yes, and you can't entirely say, say, oh, it's because of this party or that party. Yeah. To me, I believe the, the Fourth Republic has never been uh, of any good use to, to the Ghanaian people because the majority of them. Yes, because you pick from '92 to now, as we did the calculation, it's about 32 years. We have two mm-hmm. political parties. That have been in power for 32 years. 16, 16, 16, 16. And when you take 32 from our Ghana's general independence, it'll be 60 something years, right? Yeah. So 33 years. So 33 years is comprised of just the first republic, second republic, and the third republic. Yeah. And there must be about cool vibe, you know. But to have a fourth republic who is practicing democracy and have this economic management for over 32 years. Obviously, we go stress. In the Bob so that I, I believe the economic hardship in this country is due to this fact. Borrowing. But what about what about if you go and, and 
we also produce a lot. And good. So let me let me what what causes what what causes trade deficit basically in quotation? Like not just the borrowing, but what actually sorry, excuse me. What actually happens is when you are a country that is depending on importation, everything that you import, you bring cost because it affects your interest rate. And it's, I mean your foreign exchange, sorry. And at a at a lesser state, so your interest yeah. rate. But they, when you are so that when you are importing, you are exchanging your more your Ghana cities for, for few dollars. Yes. And the more Ghana cities that is in the system will become worthless. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's, it traces back to our weak currency. So yeah, so it boils down to the fact that mm-hmm. if you have a sustainable economic um, part, let's say mm-hmm. you are producing, you are exporting so and so so amount of whatever to, to the outside world, yeah. you are actually bringing in more currencies, yeah, yeah. more foreign currencies to sustain your, your economic spending or whatever you want. But when you go in for um, um, loans, bond, like when you go in for loans to do whatever you want to do, you also accumulate on your debt. And at the end of the day, the more debt you owe, where 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 to some extent. Demand will go high. Obviously. So when people have a lot of money to spend, obviously they are spending on goods. The prices of goods and services will also increase. Mm-hmm. You get it. So um the the cause of our hardship current, honestly, do we the stress? How can you earn say a thousand or two thousand cities and you pay so you pay so much amount on it on food and you just have keep like you'll be doing the other fuck and after you be putting right. How can you see? Where they have all brown poor money? It's sad. Like the, the salary is to know the increase. You know the increase. So that means that you are actually eating into your savings. Yes. You eat into your savings. You can't do anything. You basically can't do anything at all. And funny enough, mm. if a country like Ghana has a debt over 390 something billion, what will they do? What will they use what the can money? We, what can we show for? Because. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't. I, someone should explain it to me. Like, Charlie. it's really absurd to say, say, oh, because of COVID. You have, you have people enjoying. Now, now people yeah, they yeah. enjoy. People they buy new cars. People they buy people, because they have. They have government. Ghanaian there, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> it be so sad. Check like we get two two Ghana for here. Yeah, yeah, but 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 what you so from the governance side, we know that this is the way. But why do you think they do that? Why, why do you think that is? Because it's not like they don't know. Last time we were discussing, it's not like they don't know or they don't know the effect of too much borrowing. Why do you think they do that? What are the institutions doing? What's their role? The institutions, what's their role in making sure that things are smooth for the average man? So let, let me explain something. We have three arms of government. Yeah. Probably four. The first thing is the media. Okay. So we have. We have the legislative and the judiciary. Mainly for the executive is totally within the government in power. The parliamentarian aspect, the legislature aspect, has a mix of both political parties who are there to ensure that things should be done in the right way. The interests of the people. Yeah. And you have the, the judiciary who are there to make sure that the law or the law. and they make sure the law works. Yeah. You hear me? We get this guy for two free. The fella starts like if yeah. a political party is in power. What what to be a? But aha, uh-huh, that be where that be where they won't come. So a kufado, let's use one president. He will come into power. The parliamentarians they in pocket inside, or then they plus some judiciary. He who will be select the chief justice. He of course. So no so why do we say in social studies that the the judiciary or the arms of government are supposed to be independent. Separation of the power. Separation of power. That that's what it's supposed to be, but that's not how, how it works. So I will need for revising. Obviously, I will need for revising. 
I know the Bible, I know the Bible at all. So as you are saying, if these three arms of government come into power, they are all heading toward the same direction. A lot of the uh, these the fourth state, I think the media people, mm-hmm. you could see people shouting, ranting against this part, political party. Just people who know go of their personal interests. Yeah, but when you can be a just go in the meeting. Yeah. 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 Early in the morning, yeah. you get you get people shouting. Hey, this party, this party, yeah, papa, papa. Yeah. Ghanaian is not asking for too many things. We are not asking to um, give us the V8, the kind of comfort you get. We are not asking for yeah, anything. For the basic thing. We are asking for the basic thing. How can someone, there's, there, this is a news outlet for Yen and Dotscom. And there's a young gentleman saying that his pay is actually spending 50% of his, more than 50% of his pay. This is a funny book, yeah. No, no, this one is no, like they went on streets asking people, like, they the economy, yeah. And he said that he spends more than fifty percent. How are people? We seriously, I know the bar. How people they survive for this thing? One friend of mine, they go job for the one from a shaman to the mm-hmm. in and out thirty Ghana. One week, one fifty. Good. So in a month, just chocho. It's yes, not dropping. That's chocho. So he says, let's, let's uh, put something in contest. We all agree. We are all selfish. Humanly, we are all selfish. Yeah. If the opportunity come for. Me, I go enjoy him. You go enjoy him. Everybody go enjoy him. Go post FDP. You go post that Lumba in chat. We are still talking about. But come to the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What is true? I, I get, I get that point. Because what people are asking for is not. It's not even V8. How many people even own houses? I mean, like. I know there are lots of properties in Ghana, but how many, it belongs to a few people. Yes. How many people own their houses? But Charlie, it'd be, it be sad. it be sad. Because currently, the the in, uh, inflation rate is at, the current inflation rate is around what? Let me see. 23.6%. That's massive. That's, that's, that's too much. And no more corner. Those so, so, so the, the the COVID, the Russian war is rather exposing yes. the problem. Yes. It's not that it's causing it's it. It's exposing mm. it. It's showing the rot it's that was there. there. Reports that um, I got on GhanaWeb.com. That was two days ago. And you reported that in the Auditor General's report in 2019, this is much more of an, something aside the government, the institution in which they are there to ensure that Things are being done. Be better, then you see what they do. Attorney General, is, oh God! <laughs> Auditor General, <laughs> you you come say Auditor General report. report. In 2019, indicated so, that the uh-huh. board of the Ghana Cylinder Manufacturing Company, the one they spent tax. Of course, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Increase their salaries and remuneration at at least 400 percent between 2016 to 2017. But once the people were complaining, these people were increasing their own salary. Yeah, but if, that means you, you have people, you, you hear the salary is that okay. Mm-hmm. You have one person, you need to take 50,000. 50,000. 50,000. What are you wearing? allowance. What are you wearing? Buy an allowance. Ah! Then when you, see, let, let's, let's, let's look at something. The, the previous, the previous um, allowance was 650, 756. Mm-hmm. When you came? When that woman came, the poor chairman, <laughs> she increased it from 650. Uh, was, okay, the 62, 650 was for the chairman, and 500, 580 was for the members, right? Board members. Board members. Let's see what happened. The chairman do one 3,000. Oh, 3,000. <laughs> for every sitting or what? Yes. And for eight members, 3,000. 3,000. Every sitting. Then for eight members, two thousand. From six fifty to three thousand. Wait, was it was it was a big year? Sometimes when you read, I I, I I tend not to read about these things because when you read, you hear of you be like, oh, if it's got this or it's got that or you know they enjoy some, but this be too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know they make sense. Yeah, they the but who hold him? I mean that lady. Yeah, that's, that, you see, that's the that problem. problem. Ultimately, it comes down to one. Yeah, government is messing up. Yeah, the institutions are being redundant. But who are we going to hold accountable? Who will hold whom accountable? That be the thing. Charlie, so we we are all it's I think it's a it's a complex system of government institutions and we the average people. You see, sometimes this one one issue I have with this social 
pressure groups. Yes. You come out what? the pressure groups. You don't go See, I would say, Henry, yeah. I'm not against anybody mm. trying to air his uh, view about the, or the frustration. The gay yeah. But bear in mind, these same people you could organize demonstrations, go, then you could get people where they could call their so called heads, settle them, and it dies off. Let's pick, for example, the fix the country. I don't have any problem with you saying we should fix the country, but believe you me, what are we? What is there for us to fix? Yeah. Okay, what are you? Exactly. What exactly is there for us to fix? Yeah. You need to you see. You need to table. There's no direction. Yes. It was like fix the country. Yeah. Even though it was a good, I mean, good initiative, but there was no direction. Like fix that. What are we fixing? Is it roads, tariffs? Yes. Because the government, again, yeah. as you were saying, our electoral system is like that. They have only four years. Four years, three of those years is for them to amass wealth and engage in corruption. One year is for the people. Would I la- one year be the last year? The election year, that's when the good things give you. What are they going to fix exactly? So it's true. They lacked, it was all over the place. They lacked that. But at least, should, should engage, you would have tabled um, certain, certain yeah. concerns, such mm-hmm. with people in power, yeah. negotiate, bring something on board, negotiate, mm-hmm. work from within. You get it. That one would be much more of a concerning view than. At least that one. Young, 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 they are raising their hearts. What are you doing? You are jumping. <laughs> Save your jumping. What are you doing it for? Oh, seriously. The jumping and the hearts you'll be throwing and everything. Think about your life. Think about your future. Elements <laughs> <laughs> we need to discuss today. So, yes, graduation, whatever. The unemployment situation mm-hmm. is getting out of fun. Yeah. Honestly. In a, in a country where you have high on high inflation rates and high unemployment. That's a different scale of together because from what I know in economics, when there's something called a Phillips scale, it basically gives you a middle ground where inflation and unemployment should be at. When there's high inflation, obviously the notion is people have a lot of money mm-hmm. and they are yeah, spending. So there's low unemployment. unemployment. Yeah, yeah. When there's low inflation, it means that people don't have money. They don't spend. They don't spend. So demand is low. No, so so prices don't increase. Yeah. You get but here in Ghana, <laughs> only in Ghana, the <laughs> of the <laughs> for years, you just fly over. <laughs> this is not the goal. The goal is like, listen, imagine like this you want to start your own business. You are doing people waiting to sell for IT. You know my idea? Go for it. You can't do it You see, if if you are if if you are trying to um, buy goods outside, ship come let's say by car you pay about 13 yeah, yeah. 13 if 13 dollars back door you will pay you, you will it. pay them even lose yes because the truth is when you try order through um, um agent you are paying per kilo you are paying one um, 13 dollars on a kilo let's say the goods that you are bringing whether hair whatever what have you is around say 50 uh, 10 kilos 10 kg 130 dollars now, now we now we to I come the people to not get money. So. People don't get money, so what we can do? See, we are not asking the government to give us yeah. everything. Create an enabling environment for everyone to try. It's one service person. That's a service person. When was the last time they received their pay? And I learned the areas were I think too much. Too much. Too much. They recently got March. March I was drawn. Uh-huh. So Where we did me? We did me. So much So, so. Uh, oh, they are April day. When the money they? And they invested to TV. <laughs> For Ashama. To them. Ashama. If you walk, yeah. if you walk past inside, yeah, I see. Trust will be forced to give you TV. What's that? But Charlie guys, guys, I think if you want the nation to move forward, if we really if you are serious about nation building, we should we should limit the way we are selfish. That's what me I can say. We all have to come on board. 